on the ground. So yeah, it's currently like 11.35 right here in Philadelphia, so, and my ears feel like fine. Just two do a quick blow. And I'm good. So yeah, we just got down from like off the Denver flight and we're still currently inside the plane. We're just waiting for everybody to move out so we can eventually find the hotel place. And uh, I just wanted to see the puppy. <laughs> I just really wanted to see the puppy. And we are here in Philadelphia. Oh, it's got a huge like circle in the middle. I'm gonna do this just for one second, Mom. Still November. It's a long walk. The case from a very long baggage claim, and we are currently just waiting to get over to zone like four so we can get to the hotel room. So I'll let you guys when we ha that happens. Which one thing that any airport has in common is that the most the most that you do is just wait. And you get bored in the process. And we've done that this whole thing. We've been waiting for the flight to end, we've been waiting for our bags to come, and now we're waiting for the car to come. Just I want it to come now. But hey, I'm tired and it's all for the puppy. So I gotta push through it. What's up guys? Cause guess what we just made to the hotel. Well, it's not really much of a hotel. It's kind of, to me, more of a motel because it's more closer to, like, the park, more closer to, like, the airport. So it's more like a temporary stay in case you need to go back or get something there. So, yeah. I have my little retainers in, so sorry if I'm speaking really weird. So, our plans are that we're going to eventually try to wake up around 10 because that's when we're going to try to get some breakfast. And then we're going to head over to the airport, which we're going to... Which we're gonna see Jake and eventually he'll give us our dog and hopefully we can do all the stuff there. So the hotel room is pretty nice. It's it's small, but it can do the job of just if you're not like staying too long here, if you wanna sleep or so. Yeah, I will update you guys in the morning. Stop seeing update Bryce. I will see you guys tomorrow once I go to sleep and uh, just get to get ready to see the puppy. I just realized I'm gonna technically eat, so why am I still having these and just pricking it here, Bryce? And good morning, everybody, because we finally just got up and we had a pretty good sleep. We got to bed around one, so it was pretty late, and we got up around nine because breakfast closes at 10. So the plan is that we're gonna go eat our breakfast, and then until noon, we're gonna go back and then just get ourselves dressed and then maybe get comfortable, make sure we get packed up again because we're going to go right back to the airport. We're going to meet Jake and the puppy. And then that's going to be around noon. And then once we get the dog and we'll be able to like adopt him stuff at the airport and stuff, we'll go onto the flight and uh, basically just, you know, go back home. So that's our plan. So I just ordered my breakfast. I also have an orange juice. Uh, and we're just going to sit down, wait for our food. And then probably when we get it, we're going to go back up to the hotel room. So... And then, you know, just relax for a bit and then just go back to the airport. Careful. The fire in this place is purple. I did not notice that. Beautiful. After that case, we're going to go back into the hotel and just relax and get dressed and just get ourselves cleaned up because we're gonna meet diamond no no we already meet diamond like a year ago we're gonna meet stanley hey guys let's like get a finger right close to my nose and i just got myself dressed and the shirt that i'm wearing actually is very nice because it has breast notch on it and on the back on the back if you like you would make it easy and you'd be patient it's beautiful we were actually planning on getting him into a curia, which he's probably not gonna like. He's probably gonna whine, whine a bit. So we're gonna give him like some toys and some treats in there just to distract him. And hopefully during the whole flight while I'm taking care of him, I'll just 
make sure he doesn't do anything bad or disturb that. anybody. That but really if he cries, crazy. then I just have to let him cry because he's getting used to all this stuff. So I can't wait to get him. Uh, this is called getting to people's At work, space. and she retired recently. <laughs> and um, I know, I know. I just can't imagine being without him. I mean, I can totally imagine hiring. Time for an exclusive interview with my mom. Interview. Yeah, any questions? How has your day been? It's been wonderful. I get to spend some quality time. You look old in this with camera. My I look old. Like you look old in this camera. I know. <laughs> I'm so tall. Sit no, there. I have to put a book on your head. <laughs> get smaller. There you go. Mm. This is apparently the hotel we stayed in. Now we just have to wait. Yep, so we're currently just waiting right now. Wait, are you taking a picture? We are inside the courtyard to truck and we're gonna be heading to the Southwest Airport to get the puppy. Just literally just a couple minutes away. Waiting. It's gonna be so much fun. We're just waiting for the puppy to come. Okay. Hi. Hi. Let's say he's chipped, I'll show you. Hi. Oh my god. So he's all microchipped. And that all correlates to everything on his paperwork, that number, 349 out. 3490. 3490. Like 9290. Exactly. You can pick him up while you can. Look at his tail. I can feel his tail. Yes. Okay, get in there with mom. A little bit of a smaller ear, a little higher, but that's a, that's that's common in flat coats. And he's a little bit straighter in the in the wither in the um, angulation here, but that's not, that's typical for flat coats too. He's a, he'll be almost everything out there that you show against. Okay, and look how look how biddable he is. Oh, he's beautiful. He's, you know. Yeah, he's already listening to you. Yep. And trying to please you. He he is. He's just a but a well a well put together puppy. Stacks. They don't keep yeah. moving. No. A, 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 a puppy that's not well put together can't get comfortable in a stack. In a Guys, we are currently on the flight right now. And yes, my mom's on the other side and I am sitting up closely because I want to make sure that the puppy is completely fine because he's going to be sitting this thing for a three hours and 45 minutes. And we want to make sure that he's completely fine in the process. So let me show you guys. He is being a good boy right now. We're just waiting for... We're just gonna wait for this thing to take off and hopefully he doesn't like continue to cry. So I'm gonna make sure, I'm mostly gonna concentrate more on just making sure that he's okay. So I'll have to you guys, hopefully when something happens or if I just wanna show you guys something. So see you next time until something happens, not until next video, what am I saying? We just got back in the car. I'm in dad's car and that means yep We got back from Philadelphia and now we are heading home and right next to me is the puppy. Oh crap You can't even see him. Hold on. Eat. Yeah, there we go. Look at the little baby My little boy Okay, I have to act as his little seatbelt because he may go flying eventually Just exploring
Yep. If you guys know, he's in the house and he's exploring it. Except Diamond wants to get him. Like he is going psycho right now. He literally is so excited to meet him. But in the process, he's scaring him. So just kind of being patient. Holy crap, Diamond, calm down. You want him to say hi? You need to be comfortable. Yes, we know. Calm, so. We know. Oh, thank you. Aww. We're gonna go to first time today. It's okay, Stanley. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Yeah. Well, since uh, we got to, like, Stanley into the house, and Diamond is really starting to come forward with him, I think I may as well just maybe start recording. Maybe train him, like, maybe tomorrow. But, of course, it's going to be whining a lot, so maybe I could start recording at that time. I don't know. So, I guess maybe this is either thanks for watching the video or update. So, I may as well consider this an update or maybe the end. I don't know. Stanley, good boy. You are learning so well. Ah, don't go near that. No, that's poop. Don't pee. <laughs> good boy, Stanley. It's currently in the morning. I just woke up to take Stanley outside, and it's cold outside. Diamond's getting a lot more calmer around here, thankfully. So, yeah, and I think Stanley can also go up the stairs more easily now. Yep, see, there you go. Yes, good boy. Come on, Stanley. You. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Stanley. You can do it. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Good boy, Stanley. Come on. Good boy, Stanley. Good boy, Stanley. Come on, you can do it. Yes. Yes, good boy, Stanley. Good boy. Good boy. He's such a good boy. Yes, good boy. I'm going to feed you now. Yeah. So currently Diamond is doing very well right now around Stanley and Stanley is doing very well. I think he's starting to get used to maybe adapting to the whole house. So I guess that's probably the end of this video. All right guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, you know, comment, like, and subscribe. And I guess I shall see you next time. All right, see you later. Or I'm probably not gonna see you guys for a long time because I need to take care of this puppy. So I guess perhaps goodbye.